This video is an edited English version of a video that was originally posted in Japanese on August 19, 2020. Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I'd like to explain my team composition as of Wednesday, August 19, 2020. As the name of my video channel suggests, I love Kark among the 51 heroes that Hero Wars has. The reason I'm recommending Kark is because he has the potential to win against higher ranked opponents. For this reason, I always give top priority to Kark's development when forming my 5 player Hero Wars team. Let me introduce the members of my main team. The cornerstone of our defense is Astroth, who is at the forefront of our team party. Hiring Astroth as a tank for your main team can be your best option in the early days of the game. Once you train Astroth, his armor becomes as hard as stone, and he is responsible for serving as a shield for the heroes in the rear guard, protecting the team party from enemy attacks. Astroth's fourth skill is called Last Word, and it can be quite effective. Kark is weak and often dies, but with Astroth's fourth skill, you can revive Kark only once. As such, Astroth is the only one with a resurrection skill in Hero Wars making him a must-have member of my team party. Next, second from the front line is Kark, who will be the pillar of attack for the team party. I'll introduce Kark again later in the video. The third from the front of the team party is the all-around hero, Jorgen. Jorgen has the number 3 skill, concentrate attack damage on the last enemy, which makes him a very capable hero. Jorgen's magic attack power is average, but he has a number 1 skill that greatly slows down the enemy's energy build up time, and a number 4 skill that siphons off energy from the enemy, making him an effective defender for my team's party. Furthermore, Martha and Jorgen are heroes who can put off the order of growing artifacts and skins, which is a hidden advantage of hiring Jorgen. This advantage allows me to focus on strengthening a Stroth. Kark, and Faceless, making Jorgen and Martha essential hero choices for me on a low budget. Fourth from the front, and effectively in the rear guard position, is Faceless, who will team up with Kark to be the key offensive force. Faceless itself is a magic hero, but its pure magic attack power itself is poor. However, Faceless has a unique skill, the number 1 skill, which is the ability to copy the most recently activated skills of allies and enemies during battle. In some cases, when the Faceless attacks with the copied skill, the attack is twice as powerful as the Faceless own skill level. Just cutting down the enemy's health will only give them time to recover, so Faceless number 1 skill is very effective in destroying their health gauge in one blow. When Faceless copies Kark's skill, he copies Kark's skill to throw the enemy into the air. Then, in the actual attack, Kark activates skill number 3, which deals twice as much damage to the enemy team as Kark normally does. Since this is a direct hit to the first three members of a five-member enemy team in order of decreasing health, most of the enemies in the rear guard can be killed within the first 20 seconds of combat. This is the main reason why I employ Faceless in my team parties. If Kark's first skill is activated, followed by Faceless first skill, you will be able to annihilate your enemies in no time at all. Next, I'd like to introduce Martha, who is at the tail end of the team party, working hard to restore the health of her allies. Martha is said to be the strongest healer in the Hero Wars, and she has an unshakable position. Martha and Jorgen are energy-saving characters, as they only need to be strengthened when they become a drag on the team in battle. In other words, my team composition is based on the tactic that since I have two energy-saving characters, I can use most of my resources to train Kark. I'll talk passionately about Kark. When Kark has less than 25,000 power, our side will often be dead before we can defeat our opponent. But by prioritizing the development of artifacts, skins, glyphs, etc., Kark can become incredibly strong. Right now, I'm struggling to collect Kark's soulstone, so Kark's stars are still at 3, but his power is already over 27,000. 
If things go according to plan, Carp's star count will increase from 3 to 5. If all goes according to plan, Carp's star count will increase from 3 to 5. To use a simple Dragon Ball analogy, Kark will transform into Super Saiyan at the end of this month. In other words, Kark will be reborn as Super Saiyan at the end of this month, just like Goku was reborn as Kokorot, and the plan is to bring out his true potential at the end of this month. As a side note, in the case of Dragon Ball, the power of the heroes was hyperinflated to the level of the Republic of Zimbabwe, but this is not the case in Hero Wars. Now, it's time for the video to end. For those of you who prefer Trunks and number 18 to Goku, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.